G'day, how you going? So today we're going to talk about the metering modes. So there are three different types of metering modes that the camera has that, we, that are mainly used. The first one is the ESP mode, which is kind of like uh, the, what the other cameras call the matrix mode. And then there's the center weighted mode. And then there's another mode called spot metering. So the main one that <clears throat> I always use, because um, that's the only one I know uh, until I start practicing, is the ESP mode, the matrix uh, metering mode. So what that does is it, it takes a look at the entire scene and if it's got even lighting, then it, it averages out and it reads every single pixel in the entire scene and then that gives you the reading. So that's good for like landscapes and everyday shots where the lighting is really even um, and you don't have much backlighting or there's not a huge dynamic range as well. The other one is uh, center weighted metering and what that does is it puts a little circle in the middle of the of the scene and it only measures the light coming in on that circle like a, a certain percentage of the screen but it's only in the center so they call it center weighted and all the edges it doesn't care about the edges of the screen so that's good for portraits and when you want to concentrate on the center subject. Uh, the third one is uh, spot metering, so that's more precise. So if you want to meter exactly on something, that's got, it puts a little circle right in, in the center. With the OMD EM10, it has to be in the center of the, of the screen because it's not on the focus point. So I think some of the other cameras, you can focus. Um, you know when you focus around the screen, that can become the center that can become the spot where it's metering but in the em10 mark ii it's just in the center and with that that's good for things like uh, macro and when you just want to zoom in on that one point and just measure that light from there it's really good for moon photography um, because that's like a really small point in the sky of, of light and you don't want the say if you're in esp mode you don't want the entire scene averaged out because it's going to average all that darkness around it the night sky and then the, the moon's in the middle and it's going to it's going to get confused and go you can use those three different types of metering modes um, but you also can use the exposure compensation that front dial where you can make it darker or lighter and in conjunction with the exposure compensation and the metering mode that you choose you um, got all the tools that you need to get like a really good shot so you pick the metering mode that's suitable for the scenario, like ESP would be good for an even lighted, like a really nice day landscape. And then if it's too bright, maybe you can drop the, you can drop the exposure compensation, or you can, you know, if it's too dark, you can bring it up. So that's what people do. They use the metering mode that they, in conjunction with the exposure compensation, and that way they have a bit more control over what the camera is metering. So let's use Jerry as our model here. Hey Jerry, look, yes. So what we can do is we can go to the matrix one, ESP, and we'll take a photo there. Jerry, hey, where are you looking? Okay, now let's move it into the center weighted one. There. So there's not much difference I can see. Maybe because of the lighting here. So if I go there and center weighted there. And take a photo. Cherry, you're always looking at the camera. And then let's go into the spot metering one okay so with the spot metering so you can say so if I zoom you can see when you move the spot metering it changes the a little you can see the it changes a bit because you're actually just doing it on that one spot so if I go into a really light area it makes the uh, there okay, but the rest of it a little bit darker. So that's good for like skin tones. You 
you can see it more drastically with spot metering when you move it into a, like a, a light area I mean, that's only measuring you see the light there and look how dark everything gets so that's that's like that's what how spot metering is just more precision okay so I've put it on ESP the matrix mode and it's trying to evaluate this scene here and it's doing a pretty good job it's taking in the whole scene but you can see at the top there the sky is completely blown out because the high dynamic range is too much now you're going to get that a lot with landscape photography well, I, so I think what you need to do is with those filters you know the ND filters that go halfway on the screen you can also use the exposure compensation and try and drop that down a bit for instance here if I move it up to the sky so the sky looks okay and the metering modes pick that up okay but it's the tree is completely silhouetted let's see if I move it around so that's the problem with the matrix mode the ESP mode it, it it assesses the entire scene and then it tries to decide what's the best average so here's a shot here so I've got the tree in the middle and the sky in the background now that's on the ESP mode and if I move it into spot uh, if I move it into the center weighted one which is there center weighted you can see it's highlighted a bit more in the center of the screen and it's brought the tree out a bit more Let's focus there so and it's still kept a little bit of the background the sky that's so because it's saying I'm just going to meter for the center and I'm just going to assess the light coming in from that little area there so the center weighted one is good for portraits so if I wanted to just concentrate on my face and ignore all the lighting from around me and just concentrate on the face because that's what's saying it's center weighted onto the face same as with spot metering spot metering is probably a little bit better because you can spot onto the skin and get the skin proper skin color and tone of the subject so here's an example of using spot metering with the moon because the all the light is concentrated on that one spot and they the rest of the sky is dark you want to put the spot metering on and you want to move it into onto the moon itself so it's only going to read the moon now when it's at normal exposure um, I'll focus there you really can't see that on the screen but if you see it there it's too bright so you can't see the con the outline of the moon so what you just got to do is you've just got to bring down the exposure compensation a bit and now that's just reading the center because it's on spot metering and see how the rest of the scene gets gets dark so it's not going to care about the black sky in the background it's only going to care about the light coming from the moon and it's only going to expose for that and because the moon is really bright I've had to reduce it by like nearly three stops you know around about 2.7 or 2 and then that's um, going to take the shot so let's see if I can focus here you can see you can't really see on the screen but take a photo anyway and this is what it looked like Here's an example in the early morning when the sun's just come up, the moon's still up. You can use the spot metering here as well and center in on the on the moon. And that'll take just as good a shot. In a, in a scenario like this, the light's pretty even, so you probably don't even need to do spot metering. You could even just go to the ESP matrix metering and you'd get the same uh, results. And you can even take advantage of taking like the moon inside a scene because the light is even there so we you just need esp and you can you can use the matrix and then take a shot of the moon plus its surroundings as well and that'll still work and the moon will still come up obviously it'll be very small but sometimes when the moon is setting and the sun is rising at that early morning sometimes the moon could be right on the horizon and then it's like you know a little bit bigger so you've got to use the metering modes to what you need and also the exposure compensation to also use those two in conjunction um, to try and um, get your exposure right